Hi guys, I reviewed this soldering iron about, I think, a few months ago. It cost about 10 bucks and I've decided it's the time to get an upgrade and I've bought this soldering station. This is the Hakyo 936. I think it's a knockoff of the Haiko 936, but it was cheap and I got it from Banggood. It comes in this general package. You see it repackaged for shipping, package instead of repackaged. Okay, spelling mistake, but I hope this will deliver uh, the same result as the original one. So let's open it up and see everything we're getting inside. So first of all, we get the instruction manual. Let's go through the packing list. Uh, I assume they, they mean packaging list. So it's on page one. Whoops, there is no packing list here. So, I guess we'll have to just see what we're getting inside. So first of all, we're getting this soldering iron. Open it up. So, the tips are interchangeable and it also comes with one, two, three, four, five tips, and I have another four, five tips here. So in, in total, we're getting 10 tips. We're getting this station for the soldering iron, so it goes here and this sponge to clean it up and the soldering station itself let's have a look so this will connect to the power outlet it's the this is the 220 volt uh, version Let's get out of the box security version. I have no idea what it is, but it has it. We have an on off switch. The temperature goes between 200 degrees Celsius to 480. Here they got it mixed. So this one was supposed to be switched up because this is 390 Fahrenheit to 896 Fahrenheit. So it's mixed up. And what else? So you can see this is the 220 volt version. The output is 24 volts. And that's about it. So the soldering iron goes here. You have to connect the soldering iron here to this connector. Then you can secure it by just rotating this so it will be locked in. And it will sit next to it in this case. So let's just power it up. I think it's a pretty good thing to have this on and off switch. So now it's on. And we'll set it on low. Now once this uh, LED will be turned off, it means it's ready to be, it has reached the desired temperature. Let's measure the time it takes to get between 200 Celsius to 480. So let's start the clock, start and see. Okay, so it took about 43 seconds to reach the 480 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. What I'm gonna do next, I'm going to wait for it to cool down and show you how to replace the tip, uh, the soldering tip. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes for the soldering iron to cool down, so it's very, very easy to replace the tips. Just unscrew the top cover, then you can take it out. Now all the soldering uh, tips that you get are the same. I recommend maybe you should get an extra ones that are a bit more thin because these are pretty thick in diameter. So in the diameter, it's pretty thick. 
soldering tips so you just slide it here and just screw it back to place so it takes less than 10 seconds to replace it it's very very easy and then you have new soldering iron tip and it is good as new so thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully this will perform well and give me good results because i haven't been testing it for a long time i will give you an update if it will fail after a few months of use and the tell you not to buy it but so far i think i paid around 60 bucks for this so i think it will give you good value for your money goodbye